This world shall know pain. Almighty push. Yo, what is the YouTube? I've been seeing everybody lately post about uh, how, how great this game is, so you know, I, I literally just got it. Um, I'm starting the beginning, I wanted to see how exactly how this game goes, but um, don't expect me to be like a complete god at this. I understand this is like a gacha game. Um, as you know, I play Legends, I play Dokkan, I play a whole lot of gacha games, but I've never played this one yet. Even this is new, I'm starting the beginning as you can see. Um, hopefully I want to, I want to keep this series going on long, so it all depends on your feedback. God, my hands are shaking, but I think it's not that exciting. So, I've seen the mechanics for this game, I'm not exactly 100% sure how it works like that. So I'm going to be reading through the, like, the stuff that they give me. Alright, well, I kind of just signed up because it seemed like fun. I guess I should have studied more about how to fight. How does this work? You move cards around to do battle. I want to really overwhelm my opponents, so I'll start by putting everyone on the front line. Okay. So it's almost like a universe when they have the um the thing. Now I understand um I I have the pure one so I don't have my master UI in them yet. But since it's the beginning. I understand that they have um this is the Budokai 3 uh um function right here. So like the people who played Budokai back then which was an amazing game by the way. This shouldn't really be a problem for them as people who like OG from back in PlayStation 2 era. But um the graphics look good on this. Big Bang Attack! I heard one of the most uh, like OP cards in the game right now is the um is the SS um B E Vegeta. I understand like his count like his counter or something is like off the chain. I gotta gotta see. They also um I I, I read that they have a function where you this is like a, not a pay to get card now. Like this you can't pay to get card in this game. You have to really play through the game. Incredible he improved leaps and downs in just one match. And he won that match to boo, he has more potential to anticipate. Alright, so let me see. Uh, my thrilling first battle. Yeah, okay. So I'm guessing this is a tutorial, this like to show me how this plays out, which is very helpful. His abilities can prove most useful else. He may be able to stand up to the menace. I'll have to evaluate him myself. Okay, so we got Gray Saiyan Man coming down here. Whoa, when he get robotic like that? And why my character, why my character look like a, a character out of freaking Naruto? That's what they call me sometimes, I don't see it really. Da -da -da -da. All right, use the screen to set which cards are in your deck. Please set seven. This is where we make our decks now. We only have seven cards, so it's not much for us to pick. I've heard this game, honestly, like, I heard this game is very fun. Um, it's a lot of um, strategic stuff into it. I have to really, like, I have to really sit down and play. I just have to um get used to the combat because if I if I know how the combat works I'm gonna I'm gonna be a beast in this. Alright, I'm gonna get the ass. 
During the prep phase, you choose which cards join in the attack. Placing the card, placing the card in the attack area allows that the card, that the card to attack. This is the attack area. Let's each pick three cards to attack and see who how the fight goes. Okay, so you of course. Oh, okay, alright. I was wondering, like, why couldn't I, uh, get any of my other cards? Okay. Okay, go home. Alright, so, I used LNR to switch between cards. Okay, alright, because I was so confused on, like, how I switched between cards. Okay, alright, I got this. We got the main trio here, right? Oh, wait, not, not, not buggy. A charge impact battle on um, the Whoever has, yeah. Same thing as Blue Cow. Yeah, it's the same thing as Blue Cow. The graphics is the same thing as Blue Cow, too, which I actually really love. I think Blue Cow, like, Blue Cow 3 was way beyond its day. Oh, I messed that up bad. But yeah, I think Budokan 3 was way beyond his time. Like, it was a really good game. Okay, first attack is a turn by power level. So keep an eye on your power level as you arrange your cards. Okay, I'll try. Now see if you can get your power level to throw those in Alright, let's get it! Alright, let's see what we got here. We only got 4,000, my power level is over 9,000. Let's go. Your attack, please. Nah, but yo, just let me know. Let me know how y'all feel about this game. So if you get a, a miracle, if you get a miracle win, your attack is substantially boosted, I guess, or something. So what? So what? Yo, Vegeta, if you don't sit down, what, what you think this is? Oh, wait. Okay, all right, I'm about to say you chill, 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 chill. chill. Don't do me dirty like that. Alright, round three. That last one took a lot of your stamina, your cards were completely depleted. Even if they were the key fighter, I doubt it would take would make a good match. You can't raise your power level by stamina. Okay. So if if the stamina is very low, they can get damage real easily into stun. Okay, that's good to know. Bring the coins back to the support area for now and try to recover your stamina. Okay. Oh,大事なことをアタックエリアが空だと敵からの攻撃で受け付きなカードを一枚だけアタックエリアに出しておこう。so Nah dog yo why why six why six team look like he earned something? Alright, so we're gonna take some game. I just messed up so badly. I didn't even mean to press that. 
trigger fingers, you got the trigger fingers. Oof. <laughs> okay, alright, it's our turn. I, I doubt we're gonna really do anything. Here. I really want to play Bullet God 3 again now since I'm playing this now. It looks like your stamina has significantly recovered. I think about time to unleash a super attack. You need to save up hero energy in order to use a super attack. And the key to saving up hero energy is your power level. You know what to do, right? You got some hero energy now that your power level is over 3000. Okay. Move your remaining cards to save up 3 bars of the. Energy. Can I use everyone's super attack if I have three cards of energy? Okay. So that's the super attack I got, alright. Yo, I... I wonder if they're going to um Well of course I don't know if they have Jared in right now if they have Jared in here No I think let me let me know um do they have like the people from the tournament the power in here as well I don't I don't exactly know I ain't really looking to all the cards I know the gotcha system is in here so like it's almost like you it's almost like you're pulling a Dokkan basically and like there's different um there's different Machines that you can get, like you can do your summons for, but everything is basically coming from in game. Oh, we got the, we got the spirit bomb. Oh, we got the Kamea. Oh, we got the light grenade. Oh, we got that super, and we got that destructo disc. Yo, honestly, I never, I really, I never really liked the struggle disc, cause I just always thought of a CD. Like, like I just, like I just do a CD, like. <laughs> You can't tell me the lower module will see these. <laughs> nah, but we're not gonna talk about that. Yo, one thing I never understood in Dragon Ball Z, yo, how Krillin ended up with Android 18. How, bro? That 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 confused me. I was just like, yo, Android 18 and Krillin. What happened to the world? Okay, what's this big book? Honestly, I don't want this video too long. What a match. Uh, are you sure he's a beginner? He's playing like a pro. I highly doubt that. I'm still reading this stuff. What you mean? I'm playing like a pro. Isn't that, isn't it though? Cyber, okay. What do you mean, bro? Yo, they saying I'm playing like a pro. I'm playing like a doo-doo. The hell was that? Somebody fought it? What's outside? Don't tell you my pops came here. My, my pops is like, yo. He's like, yo, why are you out here playing Dragon Ball Z cards at like 12 o'clock in the night? And I'm just like, okay, buddy. So, not only did I just get abandoned, but Great Saiyan Man 3 just dipped on me. Alright. This is, see, yo, this is... Where's Great Saiyan Man 1 at? Where's Gohan? Why they replace him with a robot? Who the hell is Chamil? Oh, that's some great cosplay. A little too good if you ask me. It's terrifying. What the... That's cool. What you mean? He's butt naked. Where am I? These creatures are buzzing like so many flies. I'm gonna go ask for a photo. What? What do you mean you actually yo you obviously don't see a zipper on him? Nah, that'd be dope. That's like that's like that's like you watching Superman and literally all you all he does is take off his glasses and just switch clothes, but nobody notices him. You're powerful, are you not? Okay, he clearly means business. Alright, here goes mine, dumbass. Why Why would I leave the safety of the building to investigate? See, this is what white people do. No offense. But in the movies. What's going on? What was cooler? Someone's doing a cooler cosplay? 
Ah, you see, this is how they die. So it's really cooler. I've seen even you have heard my name. Now allow me to show you my power. Yo, I forgot where that line was from. I could have sworn I heard that before. Let me show you. Yo, dog, it, it's gonna come to me later on. Did he just cancel that attack with his key? You dare defy me, you little rat. Wait, what key? So you told my you, so my character has key now? Whoa, 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 what? Hey, yo, that's tight flashy. I'm not gonna front. Who knew Great Saiyan Man 3 had that? Oh, what? Kimi. Oh, yo, nah, that was actually stylish, though. I messed with that. The graphics is clean, too. Since I think you can handle it. But well, we should move out of air shot first. Air shot. Shot. I'm talking freaky. Okay, this seems like a quiet enough spot. That's what she said. The enemy we just fought was real well from the game world, but real. Alright, so we... So what, like... Every Dragon Ball Z character from the game world just leaking into real life. Oh, okay. I, I, I literally just said the same thing, but all right. And then, now that's the part even I can't explain, but I've learned something today. What's that exactly? Uh, that I need your help. You need my help? I am like nine years old with an overdue black hair gel. Just look at it. That joint shining in your helmet. Something I can't talk about here. Can you come to Hero Lab? Da, da, da. What's that? A sensu bean? He gave me a sensu bean? What we doing? Yo. Wait. I didn't I didn't honestly check what what came with the um with the pre-order. I'm pretty sure we change clothes and stuff in here. If I'm right, I'm pretty sure we do. You gain one hero energy for every increase of 3,000. Key blasts are good for stunning, while physical strikes still. I can't even finish reading it, but oh well, buddy. Super Dragon Ball Hero. Speak to character mark that's important to advance the story. Oh snap. The Red Ribbon Army. Yo, we got a hit right here. That time skip is unbeatable. Alright, so where we gonna pop out to? I think over here. Yeah, I see. I see exclamation marks. Yo, why they got the Mr. Clean? <laughs> Dog, they got the Mr. Clean head. I saw nothing but the freaking boldness. Let's see. Well, according to the map, this is the hero lab. Well, I mean, like, it's pretty self-explanatory. Exactly. I might as well have decided in here. Uh, this is a shop. My son Nappa, yo. Look at that bean. He got the Mr. Clean on 100 right now. Well, don't scare me like that. Who are you? He's Nappa the Mr. Clean. The power level of 3,000. Wait, so there's two Nappas? Oh, there's two Nappers named King. And what was the other one? I did not even peep his name. So this lab is there. Oops. Almost exited out the thing. It's a hero lab, huh? No sign of Great Saiyan Man 3. So what am I supposed to do? Where am I, where am I going to get my cards at? Who's this chick? Yo, why couldn't I make my character black? I just I just peeped that. I, why he gotta be why he gotta be white? Why can't he be black? Like Goku black. Honestly, yo, no funny. And let me know how y'all think about this in the comment section below. But like, I think Dragon Ball Super was really racist when it came to Goku black. You remember the episode uh, when um when Goku came went into the future and the police started shooting him? He was like. They were shooting and they thought he was Goku Black and then Trunks was like, he's not black. He's not black. 
I literally just sat there just like, yo. Really? Well, anyways. Uh, he just hasn't filled you in yet. Okay, so what I mean by selected is... Sorry to keep you both waiting. I sh he sure likes to make an entrance. Enough chit chat, master. You're late. All right, so this is gonna be like Pokemon. Like, like this is supposed to be my um, like this is supposed to be Gary to me, or like Red. He's incredibly fast learning. He'll be able to keep up. Honestly, I'm still like struggling like halfway through, so I don't know about you know keeping up. You know, that's kind of tough. You know. I mean, I'm not sure how I did it. What do you mean you're not sure how you did it? You did it, right? Yo, she kind of look like Boma, but with black hair. The enemy that attacked you was a result of that anomaly. Uh, anomaly. I'm bugging. Okay, so I just want to know where like I get to like the card parts. Because I'm pretty sure I have cards sitting there already from the pre-order thing. Not what, but who? A certain someone who wants a ton of power and they're willing to cause an anomaly to study, whatever. Yeah, I mean, yo, this, yo, the, gra yo, look at the graphics. These are really good. These are really good. I, I kind of miss, yo, if you, if you grew up in the PlayStation 2 era and you played Dragon Ball Z Budokai uh, 1, 2, and 3, and Tenkiachi, uh, 2 and 3 and you played um Dragon Ball Z Infinite Worlds you understand that this gra these graphics is amazing and I just love I'm happy they put the uh, the Budokai 3 function in there too but then again you know I don't know I know that there's mo um, modules um whatever it's called um I know that in this game and like it makes it better I, I seen a video on explaining it like if you have like uh, hundred and something increases like a thousand something percent that you get a miracle win or something I know that is in here um, super dragon balls is in here yeah I mean I really want to you want to yo where's Gohan I am a Gohan fan I want to see Gohan not Goku Gohan yeah I all right let's go save the world so we got we got kids running around no parental supervision in a card game they're about nine years old going to save the world with a robot i think dragon ball z has really been Ooh, okay all right now that's fire i'm not going front that's i like the red in there dragon ball for the past couple of years has been implementing a lot of time travel um base games like starting from a universe and it just continued on with it into hero game um i know z um project z is coming soon which would be like a throwback which every dbz fan has been asking about um i really hope that they put it in a uh, budokai tenkiachi type um of um not budokai tenkiachi um budokai 3 type of game style so like not like like back in the old games basically if they have it like that i'll be really happy about that like something like this is to take it back to the roots the world at the radish floor where everyone was training seemed good at. okay all right finally so i'm talking too much but yeah so like i'm glad that you know they're taking it back to the roots where like everything back then was just super simple this will take you to the tutorial mission if you sure you want to go there yet. So like everything was back and simple back then. Like it was really, really good. Now you'll learn that now you'll need to complete five different missions and this first one I'll teach you about the three different battle types. So I know it's hero. What is it? Um hero, berserk. It's heroes, berserk, and elite, I believe. Learn about the three different battle types. Okay. 
Ah, right, yeah, there we go. So it's the hero type, the elite type, and the berserker type. Battle types are important to know. Let's use the hero, the elite, and the berserker types. All of these have co op effects. Um, hero types are well balanced fighters with strong defense. They can finish battles in truly heroic style, and the ease of use. Ease of use makes them great for beginners. Okay. For hero types, the red card is shown under the characters. Yeah. Now let's put a hero type card in the tag. Whatever. Okay. Alright. All set. Press A button to start the battle. Push. Alright. It's over 9,000! So I'm expecting that they have Margin Vegeta, Blue, and all of them in this. The core bonus for hero type raises your power level. You also gain hero energy every time. <sighs> Sorry. Um, your power level increases. Now let's unleash a super attack with the hero energy you collected. Alright, so I just do three balls at him. I'm gonna do a big ball right here. Some big balls and you know my pillow gun here with that kind of hard and pillow gun here with that dende, you know that dende grenade gun. That's what she said. Alright, so we got Super Vegeta. Nah, I'm bugging Super Saiyan Vegeta. Oh, I see that Super Saiyan 2 Gohan in the cut. I got I got Oh yeah, I'm so sorry. I don't know why I'm so tired. But um I gotta get I gotta get used to that time. Alright, so elite type standard oriented fighters. Fighters are specializing in um STA uh stamina based attacks. Keep an eye on on your your and your opponent's SDA while you fight. Elite types are stamina oriented fighters who are adept to that using key blast attacks. Okay, so if, I'm guessing that if there's some cards that's key blast basically type. Um So like if it's if a card is more like key blast then basically Elite would be like the I guess I guess that's what they say. Um, like I said, I'm I'm learning how it goes. I'm I'm learning how I'm learning while it goes. But I'm I'm really into the game. It's really it's mad cool. Um. Damn, I'm I'm getting these miracle wins like crazy. But um, I really want to keep going. I'm honestly. All I'm going to be posting probably on on YouTube is probably just just these. Oh my God, yo, that's super coming out. Always, yo, it looks exactly like the one from Budokai 3. If you really play PlayStation 2 back then, you'll know exactly what I mean. That you can't make up that color and that transition of beautiful rainbow, man. That's just it's beautiful. So we also be in time like it was back then as well, so you can't take forever, which is completely understandable. Alright, right, um, Berserker types. Damage oriented fighters, powerful attackers that reduce enemies health. These fighters tend to have low guard though. Making them susceptible to stun, so they can get stunned easily. Basically, that's what. So you, so you, you're basically giving attack over defense for this one. I get it. Does it really matter what type of order is in? All set, press A button to do something else. So, with, with Berserker basically, you're giving up your defense 
full high attack. So I'm guessing. See, you gotta have a you have to have the, a well balanced team basically. Then, like you just can't have just plain old berserkers. Like, you just might get stunned and stuff. Now let's destroy your opponent's hero energy so they can't use the super type. So I'm guessing you can do that. Destructo Geesh. Welcome to Super Vegeta's Big Bike Attack. Nah, this game, this game is valid. And I, I, I like games. I like games that you know is very like strategic, and it cut, like it makes you think. It's almost like Legends and Dokkan mixed together, and Budokai Three has like the foundation. It's just been thrown into the game, which is pretty cool. You got an item. I'm guessing this is a tutorial thing. No, no more warriors power boost. So I'm guessing that goes with my character. And this mission I'll teach you about the uh, the four different types of abilities. So, um, I know in Dragon Ball Z Universe 2, uh, when you do the card game, there's for each card everybody has different effects and it varied on the different type it varied on the uh, the rarity of the card. So I'm guessing it's the same thing that applies to this. But it's saying four different type of abilities. Does it have something to do with the map? Because there's four different spots. Okay, yeah. I'll explain your abilities in this round. There are four kinds of abilities that activate different ways. First up, abilities that activate when you place cards in the attack area. So, depending on whatever the cards you have, what you put in the attack area is what depends on the ability. Place a card with an arrow on it in the attack area. Okay. An icon with a pair attack. Da -da -da. All set, press A button to start the battle. Hmm. So, that's, that's the point I was trying to do. Oh, I just up so bad. You've activated the abilities and check them out under the ability effects menu. The enemy team can also activate abilities, so be sure to take a look at it. Okay. So this more alright, so this there's way more to the, to the to the game than I thought. Like honestly, of course I knew it was more of the game, but like I like when I was watching videos like like gameplay, so I was confused on what like the four lines represented. Like if it was just all the attacks, maybe, or like maybe it was just uh, like all the attack and that was recovery or something. So he has a recovery. Increase allies power when linked. All right, so he's a supporter, um, a supporting card then. So this, I'm guessing, this supporting cards and offensive cards, obviously. Roshi. Once you've done that, line up your next card so that the line coming from it completes the line from the card with the arrow on it. Nice. Alright, so for you to link up with the card, you gotta move the card depending on where you put it. So I basically gave up power for recovery, which is understandable. Oh, we got a father-son attack going on right now. Okay, okay, okay. All right. I gotta stop messing up on the uh, time. Man. I keep messing up. I honestly lost track on how freaking one is right now. Enraged Prince, 1000 damage. Two stuff. Okay. okay, now that you're in round 3 and ability has activated. 
So this is an ability that activates um, automatically when the condition is met. Some ability, okay, all right. Each card has different requirements, so be sure to read them. Of course, increase team power. Level. All right, so now place all your cards in the attack area. All set, press the A button. Alright. Okay, I'm getting, I'm getting in with the game. Oh, I messed up so badly. A thousand damage is dope. Super Kami Ami Oh, yo, that's cool. Yo, when that's supposed to get a good special like that? Yo, you know what they should do? They should put a uh, Master Roshi in, um, they should put Master Roshi in, um, X Universe 3 as a troll. Like, they put Satan in there, so I mean, like, why you can't put Master Roshi? I mean, I'd rather use Master Roshi over Satan. Any day, to be honest. Now that should be funny. Actually, yo, Master Roshi is not even a bad fighting character, to be honest. Maybe Bandai should uh, incorporate that into uh, his universe too. All these three give us an entire roster. Alright, so um, this video is probably going to like... I'm probably gonna end it after I complete these last two, I believe. Last three. Um so each video I don't want it to be very long. Cause I don't want it to be very long. I don't want it to be like an hour or two hours. Um but this is like the beginning and things really ain't get going into like after all the talking and stuff. So I'm probably gonna end it after the fifth match. But I will be dropping more later on because I actually really love this game and I'm really gonna be playing the hell out of this game. And the CAs uh, are abilities that activate when certain conditions have been met, like when you're an attacker after a certain round. Depending on the ability, the round it activates and may vary though. Though, make sure to check the effect carefully. So transform card action. Uh, meet the conditions for special effects. Okay. I'll put Kakarot there. Press the A button to set the battle. Uh oh. Move the left stick to power up. Oh, that's cool. Oh, we going Super Saiyan Drizzy in this. Oh, wait, that's blue? That's blue! Oh, look at that. Oh my god, look at the graphics. Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. Alright, so there are lots of card action abilities besides Transform 2. Uh, so... Some characters have different TAs, of course. Try to find all the abilities you can to give yourself an edge in battle. Okay, oh my god, that's... Oh, yo, that transformation mechanic is really amazing. Alright, so I'll attack these. Oh my god. Yo, that transformation, though, that, that's sick. Shout out to... Shout out to SSJ 9K, I feel like I was just, you know, got him. Felt it right there, man. Holy cow. Yo, that's, that's fire. That, yo, that's really fire. Hey, Kagarai. What's sticker? What's this do? Super power up. Okay. 
In this mission, I'll teach you about touch action ability. So I'm guessing that's the, uh, I'm guessing that's the, um, that thing where, like, you, you sliding? I don't know. I didn't really want to spoil the game up. I didn't want to spoil the game to me, like, that much. But I only looked to the beginning, I believe. But so far, this game is really good. Um, if you recommend to buy it, you get the money, so I don't... I say get it. If you're into gacha games, man, and you're into, like, strategic games, and you're, like, a Dragon Ball Z fan, this is, like, a a cop. This is, like, a really good game, man. Expect me to be a 100% full-time Dragon Ball Heroes YouTuber. Because this game is really good. I like it. I want to be the very best. Ah, damn, they're like, you know what I want All right, take a card with the super energy ability and move in their front line. Attack it. Alright, so we got to get a chance to get deeper. SSG is go tank. Wait, no, that's not SSG is go tank. I see the Toro, so that's a fusion. Oh, yo, that was way too fast. Unleash the TA Super Energy. Select the card you like to use the build before, then move the energy ball and repeat this action as much as you can with the time limit. And charge, charge up the key for me into a key blast and get the key. Alright, so Fusion Warrior Super Energy. Nice, now you charge up a bunch of keys, send it crash into the ground, swipe this screen up or use the left to get Okay, I understand. There are lots of touch action and abilities besides Super. Try to find all the TAs that you can give yourself in the battle. Alright. Yo, Krillin got the really, he got the baldy, bro. Like, I was to smack his head. All you hear is, you probably hear the, the freaking, you know that sound effect that you make when you smack water? That's the sound you want to hear when you smack Krillin bald head. Shout out to d Free, Krillin. Krillin. All right, it's the last phase, and we're gonna see what we do. I know, I, 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 I entered the um, the DLC for my uh, the pre-order stuff, so I should be able to have you like go through it. Um, I gotta see where I can get it. From. All right, so in this fight, I'll explain ultimate units. The ultimate units are hero energy to unleash a wide variety of effects. Okay. I hate seeing that go on. The one with the glasses, the beat go on. It's such a disgrace. How you pop? That's the one thing I hate that Toriyama did. They really messed up Gohan. They nerfed him so hard, man. And I can't stop saying that because I'm a huge Gohan fan. Out of anybody in the entire YouTube community, I am the like die hardest Gohan fan. And I just hate how he has no type of shine no more, man. And that hurts. It's perfect, now you've got the hero energy you need to start getting attacked. Alright, buddy. Yeah, I remember that moment in Dragon Ball history when Piccolo really could have been, could, he could have beat Android 17. But things just didn't go out as a plan, to be honest. Cell came in, you know, it was like, I'm about to suck you in my tail. All homo included. Transformed to my perfect form. And I'm like, whoa, ho, ho. Hey there, buddy, you're not sucking. Move flashing card to area. Move leader to the area. Oh, 
We'll remember to. Uh, Using ultimate units cause hero energy. Yes, now your ultimate unit's effect is going to activate. Limit breaker unit. On the effect of the limit breaker unit, all team members can use their super attacks. Uh, go for an all out attack and settle things this way. Oh, my power level is off the charts. I like this. I really hate seeing that go on. I, I can't say that anymore. What the hell? We got shadow clones now? Oh, wait, no, no, no. I'm bugging. Yes, SSJ4, thank you. Unrelenting Barrage Dragon Claw Dance Yo, nobody can't tell me Back then when, um, in Dragon Ball Z Budokai 3 When you had the fusion, um, the Pator, that's a Pator, the fusion dance and quick or no, you Goku, and you fuse the Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta, and you can be at blue health, but if you got hit with that super attack, your life will be literally on the on red. You, you're literally dead. I think that was like the most OP thing back then in the Budokai, yo. That fusion mechanic was just so OP. <sighs> Kame, no big bang. Kame, Kame, ah, yo, that that move is so fire back then. I right, finished. Uh, present to you what? Enter your name. What is this? He has a name now. I'm gonna call him Zeke. Wait, is this is this for the uh? This is not for my character, it has to be for that robot. Modulus, there we go. Those that's what I was talking about. You can earn new battle modules. Um, I'm probably pronouncing that word so badly. By playing missions, uh, so find some that suit your playstyle and give yourself an edge in the fight. Okay, um, that's why I'm in the video. Um, if you if you enjoying the series, um, leave a like, subscribe, so you get the notification for when I drop more. Um. I'm gonna have a whole bunch of these videos dropping now. I, I like this game, like I said. Um, I'm gonna continue playing it. This is probably like not gonna be the only thing I'm posting, but like this is like a game that I, I really can enjoy. So um, I'm gonna leave it off to here. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna drop another another one in a couple of, in a couple of hours because I mean this one is probably very long. Like this has to be at least an hour and change. I wasn't expecting it to be this long, but like I really went to the beginning and I wanted to just finish this up before I ended up. I didn't want to put this as a part two because honestly, who wants to watch two part videos? That's a tutorial, so finish that up. Anyways, um, sorry, okay, signing off, man. Um, yeah, have a good one.